So, I mean, this is my canvas. I'm an artist, a patriotic artist. Who's better than me right now? Who can say they've done this? Look at this canvas. And I uh, decided to go around the country and paint a big, beautiful American flag on one rooftop in all of the 50 states. And as you know, this is the grand finale, number 50. So I am complete with my mission. It's sick. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's, it's a New York term, you know, sick, and I was like, oh, God, that's sick, that means good, it's a that's positive good. I told my stepmother, she's like, sick. Yeah. Like, so no, I'm yelling at, well, they were on the roof up there, I went to take a look at it, and I'm like, I just flipped out, because I saw her for the first time, and I was like, that's sick, and they're like, what, well, what does that mean? <laughs> Betty over there was the, was the kicker. Yes. <laughs> Rosie the, the Riveter. Kicker. Rosie the Riveter, that was the uh, kicker. Yeah, I did some work during the war, in riveting airplanes in Miami. Okay, you you riveted airplanes in Miami. Yeah, consolidated okay. multi aircraft. <laughs> he's great. He's been staying here since Friday, and we'll be sad to see him go. He's like a brother. Oh yes, sir. Cindy took care of him, and he stayed over to the other house. And he's a mess. He's crazy, <laughs> but he's a nice guy. He's he's got more stories than the law allows. <laughs> they were amazed that there's this crazy New Yorker on a rooftop in hot Mississippi painting an American flag for us and that feeling uh, which I cannot explain was was super and I said on my way home I had a 20-hour bus ride I said I, I gotta do this in every state you know I mean it's no secret that the guns of hatred are directed at America you know you know in a big way right now and uh, I find that disheartening and uh, I'm a damn proud American I got tremendous freedom to be the craziest artist I want to be and nobody's cutting off my hands I got to thank somebody for that, you know, you know, this is a gift, you know, give it back, and uh, they love it, you know, they appreciate it, so, you know, we always argue because they're like, thank you so much for, and I'm like, no, 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 thank you first, thank you, well, no, but they, I'm like, no, 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 thank veterans trying to give me money, you know, I take donations, I took from so many people, but veterans always trying to give me money, and I said, I can't take you money, you know, oh, come on, I, I almost got into fights with these, and I tell them, look, it's, you know, it's like me taking mom out for Mother's Day dinner and then giving her the bill. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a gift. Somebody's going to give you a Christmas gift, you're not going to pay them for it. You know, just accept my gift, you know. Ten months. Three hundred days. Twenty-five thousand miles. I, I have to go back to every state, you know, to just... Now I have a place to stay in every state. You know, I, these people became friends, and then these other people I've stayed in. You got a place to stay, you got a ski lodge, you up, oh, no charge, you just come up here. So that's always good, because I'm the kind of person that likes to escape the city when the pressure's on. And, uh, you know, just get in my car and I show up in some state, knock on the door, hey, Scott, come on in, you know. Uh, that's one, one aspect of it, you know. If it killed me, it would have killed me. You know, between driving through tornadoes, which was the scariest time of my life, being on that boat, 25 degree pitches, you know, just sliding off the rooftops without almost falling, just a truck breaking down and just places I shouldn't have stayed, you know, which is bad neighborhoods where I had to stay in a hotel, you know, that I could afford. And, and uh, it's commitment, you know, it's, and I, I have to finish this. Come hell or high water, this is going to get finished. You know, and I tell people, like, you don't have to drive you know, 25,000 miles and paint a flag on a roof to show you're patriotic. You don't even have to have a big flag in a pole or put it out. You know, it's just, you just got to feel it. You just got to appreciate what you got. You know, I hate to be corny because I'm, I'm still young enough to be crazy and rebellious. So I don't want to be corny. You know, I just, you know, love it. But yeah, man, it's just, my career is unlimited as an artist. I want to be... You know, Picasso, of the, I want to be an well, American artist, you know, Norman Rockwell. That's my dream. And I, and I see it. And my, I got it, you know, my, my, me being patriotic is to say thank you and like appreciate. Like, this is a, this place is unbelievable. I mean, we got crooked politicians, we got cryberry movie stars, we got crazy. It's just so, it's beautiful, the, the diversity, the clash of opinions, and that's the beauty of it. But every, a lot, I notice a lot of people forgetting why we have that. And I just want, be a patriot, just acknowledge that, you know. I mean, look, 
people, lo and loved ones die. You know, my, my, the bill collector's knocking on my door. As a matter of fact, I know he's there right now for the last nine months on this trip. And you know, it, it hurts, you know, and people fall in and out of love and you get, you know, it's, but, you know, we take advantage of what we have. I have, I have in the past, totally. I admit it, you know, and I said, all right, let me, let me just show my colors. Again, I went far and beyond the call of patriotic, you know, expression here, but just, you know, just a thank you to a guy in the military. You know, even that Vietnam veteran sitting over there with his jacket, with his Hells Angels. Not that the guy just wants to hear thank you. Believe me. You know, this conversation just thank you. You know, put your flag out on Memorial Day, even if it's a little one. It's just they see that. They look around. I mean, I'm a civilian, and I look around. You know, patriotic. Thing. Like they don't have their flag out. Eh, you know, it's just you know, that means everything to them. You know, my opinion.